Hello guys, uh, we took last time how to declare an array in two different ways. Uh, today we're going to take some examples, but we're going to take program 7. How to add the elements of an array. And this, we're not going to use loops for now. I'm just going to show you how to do it. Uh, and uh, the sec uh, program 8 is going to be rearranging a loop. And let's do uh, inputting data into a loop, into inputting variables into a loop. That will be program nine, and then uh, into an array, and then we'll use a loop for that. I'll show you how to use loops. So let's go to include. There, Brian. Thirty-two dot inc. And we have dot data section, dot code section, and main process. And exit main and process and and main. So this is the template for any program. My data, I'm going to have an array, name it whatever you want, let's say list, and let's give it 2, 4, 7, and 3. Those four variables, and we're going to see, now in an array, be careful, what's an array? List is going to be what? Well, now let's do it. Let me show you on a what was this? This is the code. There's a table. We want one row and we have four elements, four columns. Think so, think of this as well. Let's put it as list. Let's make it smaller. Do you want to? What's an array? A homogeneous elements. And I gave you this last time, but this is not what we're going to think of. This is going to be list zero. This is element zero. Index zero. Saying we can define it by list zero and think of it plus zero if I'm saying about bytes this will be list plus one the second element will be list plus two and list plus Where did it go? Okay. Just make it look better. And what did we have? Did we have? I think we had two, four, seven, and three. This is the value. And those are the indexes. This is element lists zero, list one, list two, list three, because we have four elements. Think of it this way. And now we want to add all those up. Let's go back to our program. So this is list. 
my list and all oh, this let's keep it that way and now we can first thing I need to do, do is set the accumulator to zero then I need to move what well, I need to move the first element to AL I'm missing something here yeah I didn't define the size of this elements list byte meaning each element if I had word we're gonna show it in a word also then what do I do I moved first element to AL and let's do here dump I just wanna print whatever in the registers just to show you each time what happens and here I'll do add AL and I'll add the second element which is 4 but now what's 4 and what's 2 we said 2 is list plus 0 or list this is list plus 1 and I'll do here those we don't need them but usually I like to have them add to debug and show you how each command is executed add al list plus two call dump register add al list plus three and call dump register and I'm done I added and uh, that would be seven and I added three and here what we can do is I can say and call write integer print whatever is in inside the accumulator and now we can do let's do another character return this is new line this is a new line this will give me a new line just so make sure. so here what did we do main process we set the accumulator to zero we moved the first element to to al remember an accumulator is four bytes the four bytes but we moved the two to the first eight bits to the lower 8 bits then I printed all the registers then I added to AL which has 2 I added the second element which is 4 so now it will be 6 printed the register added AL added to AL list 2 which is 7 so now it will be 13 called printed it on the screen and added 3 to AL which was 13 so now it should give me 16 and here I printed what's in AL only so let's check this program and run it tools well now they want me to Carrot return. What was it? C R L F. Okay, my bad. I didn't add the call. Those are functions, or what they call them, procedures in what. Uh, And guys, remember, if you're using the assembly book, you need to go to chapter, I think, five or six. There's a t table. It's called the uh, procedure. You need to know there's a table, one table, one page table. You need to know some of those, like uh, call them register, call write integer. 
during chapter three and four and five. So go, please go back, uh, go to chapter five or six. I forgot the exactly, chapter and check them. So this rang good, no errors. And now tools. So here, here, this is the first call them register. Let's see. This is for this one. This is for the this one. I, I added what two and four. And now the second one I add what? What's D? This is hexadecimal value. It's thirteen. It gave me thirteen. And what's accumulator here? It went back to zero. What's zero? Ten zero one. What is it? After F, what do we have? F is 15. So 10 is 16. And then we do the core right integer. Core right integer should give it to us in decimal value, which is 16. 16 and decimal is the same as well. 10 hexadecimal. Yeah? Or what? Try to convert it to binary and check your answer. Now let's see if we do some changes. I want it as a word. Each element is a word. What do I have to change? This will be what? List 0. Taking 2 bytes. So this will be what? List two not list one so this will be plus two plus four plus six got it those are gonna take eight bytes first they took four bytes because each was one was a byte now I'm saying each one of those is two bytes so list is two bytes so now the second number is going to be start from 2. And let's run this tools. Okay, that's a nice uh, invalid instruction operand. Well, what did we have? Size mismatch. So I have to use AX. Good, no errors. Two and four, six, and should give me sixteen at the end. Same thing. Didn't change the answer, but you show now if I use a D word, what happens? I need to put EAX and plus four plus eight plus 12 please pay attention to that please pay attention to that it's important the size of the operand it's really important remember how can i declare an array in a different way also using the dup operator so i can say list size for dup meaning four elements and here I can put the initial values which is let's say zero to create an array of four elements and I can input those numbers into it but we're not gonna use this now we'll use it with loops so oh, this will be good for today Good luck and let me know if you have any questions in the description below.
Thank you, guys.